Hello, my gorgeous people. We have a reveal. Midnight Magic, a tarot deck of mushrooms. Isn't this exciting? By Sarah Richard. So I've been sitting on these for a while because I wanted to record opening this deck with you because I do love sharing um, my decks with you guys, but I've been dying to use this. So this came from Amazon and it came kind of crushed. And so I don't know if this is the way the box is, but it feels like it was crushed. So I hope the cards are okay. But let's take a look. And yeah, I did um, want these for a bit now and I finally came around to ordering them. So let's take a look. Midnight Magic. This is the book by Sarah Richard. Oh, beautiful color pictures, spreads and definitions in the upright and in the reverse and major minor arcana okay so nice book yeah i feel like the box it got crushed in some way so we don't need any of that garbage all right so let us take a looky loo at this beautiful deck shall we so this is the back side Ooh, look at that mushrooms this actually um look like condoms <laughs> or lemon slices yucky okay let's look so we have chicken of the woods with the fool little birds of the woods the magician I'm not reading the like, I don't know, whatever the name of the mushroom here because I don't even know how to pronounce it. So I hope you guys can see it. This is the High Priestess with the Fairy Ring Companion. The Empress with the Hen of the Woods. This is the Emperor with the Fly Agaric. Hierophant, Turkey Tail. The Lovers with the Caesar's Mo Mushroom. I was going to say Caesar's Moon. Caesar's Mushroom. The Lovers. The Chariot with Conifer Cone Cap. Is that what's on the back here? Conifer Cone Cap? No. Okay. Chaga with Strength. Where is the mushroom here? Do you guys see it? Is it this thing? Okay, I don't... My mind doesn't see what this is, but okay. Um, the Hermit with Artist's Conk. Wheel of Fortune, Common Puffball. Justice, Old Man of the Woods. Shouldn't Old Man of the Woods be the Hermit? I don't know. So we have Velvet Shank with the Hangman. Death with Destroying Angel. Oh my goodness. Temperance with Shiitake. The Devil Lobster Mushroom. Oh my goodness. Is this Lobster Mushroom or is this? Well, these are definitely mushrooms, but... Is this a lobster mushroom? Because these look like two different style mushrooms. The tower, yellow netted stink horn. The star with the golden rishi. The moon with the eastern jack-o'-lantern. The sun, golden oyster mushroom. Beautiful. Judgment, corpse finder. Yikes. The world, honey mushroom. Mm, that sounds delicious. Okay, so Ace of Wands, the burn morale. The two of wands, bleeding tooth fungus. Oh, I hate this mushroom. That's in the um, mushroom spirit oracle as well. This bleeding tooth. It's so creepy. Uh, three of wands, cedar apple rest. Four of Wands, Birch Polypore. Five of Wands, Orange Pinwheel. 
Six of Wands, Red Chanterelle. Chanterelle. That looks like the devil card that we were seeing. Seven of Wands, Eternal Light Mushroom. Eight of Wands, Red Corral. Red Coral. Sorry, Red Coral. Let's call it Corral. Nine of Wands, Poison Fire Coral. Ten of Wands, Blackening Wax Caps. I found these on my neighbor's yard. Pretty sure. Page of Wands, Pink Burn Cup. Knight of Wands, The Copper Spike. Queen of Wands, Luminescence, Penelis. Penelius. This looks like they'd glow in the dark. They must. Luminescent in some way. King of Wands, Wine Cap. Ace of Cups, Fluted Bird's Nest, Fungus. Ooh, jeepers. Do they, like, spit out stuff? Looks like there's, like, stuff coming from it. Um, two of Cups, Indigo Milk Cap. Three of Cups, Stocked Scarlet Cup. Four of Cups, White Basket Fungus. Oh, they called it something else in this one. It was, like, caged something or other. I wonder if that's a different type because it's red, but it looks like this one right here. It looks kind of the same. It's like caged something or other. Okay, five of cups with the ink stain bullet. Six of cups, pixie's parasol. Seven of cups, black trumpet. Eight of cups, shaggy ink cap. Well, maybe it was a shaggy ink cap I, I met. Or I bet I saw. No, it didn't look all shaggy. Um, it was definitely an ink cap though. Okay, Nine of Cups, Water Club Mushroom. Ten of Cups, Portobello. Yummy, pizza. Page of Cups, Blue Pink Gill. Knight of Cups, Purple Lacaria. Ooh, magical. Queen of Cups, Nargan's Bonnet. King of Cups, Verdigree Agaric. Ace of Swords, the Parasol. Two of Swords, Piggyback Rosegill. Three of Swords, False Morale. Four of Swords, Snow Fungus. Oh my goodness, look at that one. Those look like dandelion seeds. Is that dandelion? Wishes? Five of Swords, Orange Birch Bullet. Six of Swords, Aquatic Guild Mushroom. Seven of Swords, Amethyst Deceiver. Eight of Swords, column, Columned Stinkhorn. Nine of Swords, Blushing Milk Cap. Ten of Swords, Amoni Stinkhorn. Anemone, sorry, Anemone Stinkhorn with the Ten of Swords. Page of Swords, Deadly Gallerina. Okay. Knight of Swords, Zombie Ant Fungus. <laughs> zombie Ant Fungus. Word. Okay. Queen of Swords, Lion's Mane. King of Swords, Destructive Folotia. Folota. Folota. Fol Foliota. Yes. Destructive Foliota. Ace of Pentacles, Perigord Truffle. Two of Pentacles, Barm. Barometer Earth Star. <laughs> this looks like an onion. Interesting. Uh, three of Pentacles, Green Elf Cup. Four of Pentacles, the King Oyster. Wow. Five of Pentacles, Devil's Cigar. Ooh. Six of Pentacles, the Prince. Seven of Pentacles, Dune Cup. Eight of Pentacles, the Blob. Mm. Nine of Pentacles, Wood blew it. Ten of Pentacles, Branched Colibia. Page of Pentacles, Hedge Corn, <laughs> Hedge Hog Mushroom. I'm sorry, I've done like a million readings today. Knight of Pentacles, White Truffle. Queen of Pentacles, Elegant Earth Star. And King of Pentacles, King Bullet. Okay, 
I do want to do a reading for you guys, as I normally do. You guys charge the cards, and then we do a reading with a message here that needs to be delivered to you with this reading. So I do appreciate you guys spending the time here with me as I share these cards with you. I do enjoy this very, very much. Let us take a look at what is this reading about for you guys? What is this message? Very easy to shuffle these cards, I must say. Love, love, love it. I don't know what the reading um, will feel like reading mushrooms here, but I'm excited to see what this is all about. I feel like we're really needing to give her a good shuffle because these cards are getting kind of stuck. Feel free to skip ahead however you see fit. And we'll ask Spirit for a clear and concise message. For the greatest and highest good of the viewer who has stuck around here for this reading, what is this message? Thank you, Spirit. Please protect me as I channel this message for the viewer. And please protect the viewer as I deliver this message that they're needing to hear right here, right now. Thank you so, so much. And thank you so much, viewer for allowing me to tap into your energy and the energy around you at this time. I am truly blessed. Thank you so much. Okay, I do feel two more. Okay, so... We have the Seven of Wands, Eternal Light Mushroom. Ooh, ooh, goosebumps. Seven of Wands, okay. And we have the World, Honey Mushroom. I feel them all in the upright today. The World, Honey Mushroom. We have the Devil, Lobster Mushroom, okay. The Star, Golden Rishi. Six of Pentacles, the Prince. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, Perry Gourd Truffle, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Swords with Amethyst Deceiver. Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. Okay, so just give me a, a little bit here to tap in. I, I see, okay, well, we have three Major Arcana. We have two Sevens. We have an Ace of Pentacles, which is all about New Beginning. And a new beginning would stand to reason because something's coming to an end here. The devil right beside Seven of Swords. Okay, so I feel um, an energy here um, of something coming to light. And I feel it's coming to light because I feel like you are highlighting something that maybe has always been there, but now you're illuminating this and this could be an aspect of yourself in fact I do feel it is but if this is about someone else then you can definitely apply this but I feel like you're illuminating something within self that you might have suppressed or that was in your subconscious in some way but it wasn't helping you because I feel like it was something that was um Yeah, it was with the devil here. This could be unhealthy patterns. This could be, you know, um, doing something in a way that we self-sabotage ourselves in some way because of a way of being that I feel holds us back. It limits us. It doesn't allow us to have movement in some way. But if this is someone else's character or thing, I feel like you're, you've been working on illuminating this. You've been working on trying to get through this because seven of wands is someone who is persistent about something. So I feel like there's been a dedication here to highlight something here that has been interfering in movement. And so I feel like with the world right in the middle, this is concluding a cycle. This is successful conclusion. This is a long time coming. So I feel like you might've been working very, very hard on your shadow aspect or working very hard with trying to resolve a, a situation where something has been deceptive or unhealthy or self-sabotage or not 
proper in some way. So, but I feel this is a success story. I don't feel like this is a negative reading where you're seeing something that is negative and now you're disappointed. I feel like this is bringing happiness in a way because I feel like you are bringing some sort of conclusion by shedding light on this. This is why I feel it is your own energy because I feel like wherever you were stuck, wherever you were held back by something is now you're closing that out. Now you're able to move towards some sort of desired hope here with the star. You've healed from this. You've done shadow work healing, I feel. And so now you're able to really invest here towards a new beginning of something that will bear fruit, that will grow into something because pentacles all about the practical world. The six of pentacles is where we engage here. We can contribute energy, effort, and give to a situation that is beneficial, makes us feel happy in a balanced way. So I feel like there is a good news story here and you needing a congratulations and some sort of successful conclusion of identifying something that held you back, something that was being suppressed, something you weren't maybe wanting to face or have been able to face because you weren't seeing it and it could have been very shoved down. So through healing, through illumination, through determination, you've been able to identify this. And so this is more of a congratulations from spirits. It's the fool, new beginning, exploring. Yeah, something was stuck. And I feel the stuckness here was you being able to move uh, out of some state because you were stuck in it. But now that you've revealed this, I feel like now you can move forward. Now you're free to take a chance towards a direction, a leap of faith in finding something for yourself that I feel you can contribute and see grow. It is very exciting, but I feel at some point you weren't able to move towards this because of your held backness and four of wands is the celebration card. So when I say you're being congratulated, nothing better than getting this beautiful four of wands, unless of course we see the six of wands, which is being celebrated. Four of wands, celebration. This is a huge milestone for you. This is also about security, stability, family, union, success, marriage. Uh, I feel like this is really showing a rite of passage here, like you hitting a milestone of now resolving some self aspect of yourself. So now you can lay the groundwork. Now you can find stability. Now you are being celebrated and find this and leap towards something that will be successful for you absolutely love this energy for you so congratulations beautiful viewer this is a beautiful reading and i do love sharing this with you i hope this resonated and i will see you soon bye